Let's learn in this video how to properly authenticate Terraform to the Azure subscription using the service principle. Right before deploying the Terraform template, we typically run the command az login that will go to authenticate to the Azure subscription using our personal identity. So the Azure CLI in that case will go to download the credentials into a JSON file into our local machine. Then later when we run the commands Terraform init plan and apply, Terraform actually will go to read that personal identity from our, from our uh, machine and then it will use it to authenticate to Azure and to upload and to uh, deploy resources into Azure. That's this actually using the personal identity, which is not secure way for deploying production workloads or for deploying from CI CD pipelines. In those cases, we want to use an identity that is built for a machine, not an identity for a human or for a user in my Active Directory. So in this case, we use typically the service principle. But as we have the service principle, we have actually now the managed identity, which could also be used and is, is actually the preferred way to authenticate to Azure is through the managed identity. But the managed identity will work only if you have your VM, your virtual machine inside Azure. That should be an Azure virtual machine so that you can use that managed identity with it. In my local laptop or from a CICD pipeline build agent that doesn't run on an Azure VM, you cannot use the uh, managed identity because you cannot bind it to that resource. So instead, we use here the service principle. The service principle is an identity that is created to be used by a machine. That could be like our CICD build agent, for example. The service principle is mainly a client ID and a secret that could be used in order to give authenticate, give, um, to authenticate and to also give authorization to the Azure subscription. So to say, for example, the service principle could have the role contributor, reader, or owner over my Azure subscription or over some uh, specific resource groups or even some specific resources in Azure. So we can typically, we can uh, mainly specify the scope that we want. Follow me next in this video to show you how to create a service principle in Azure and then how to configure the Terraform template to use that service principle in order to authenticate and authorize to the Azure subscription. So to go to the demo here, I have a sample Terraform template that will go to deploy a resource group and an Azure storage account. Very simple Terraform template, nothing special here. And then I have here in this section, the section where I want to configure the service principle so that Terraform will rely on this service principle to authenticate to, to Azure. So let's see how we can now configure this service principle. So first thing to do is to create the service principle. So let's see how to do that from the command line. So here I'm already connected to my Azure subscription through the command az login. And now I'll go to create a service principle. So using the command line for that, I'll go to use the command az Azure ID Active Directory SP for the service principle. And then I'll use the command create for airbag. And then I'll give my service principle a name, let's say Terraform SPN, for example. And let's go to run this command. Now, because I have the right access role on my Azure subscription, which is I should be owner of that subscription and they should have the role um, Active Directory Administrator, here I'll, I'm able to create that service principle on my subscription. And this JSON here is the service principle and it contains the credentials for that service principle, including the name, the app ID, password, and tenant ID. We'll need these credentials to authenticate from my uh, Terraform template. And if here I switch to my subscription and then go to access control where I have the role assignments, I should see that here in the role contributor, one of my contributors is that service principle that I've created, the Terraform SPN. So that have a role contributor on this subscription, it means can create resources, either a resource group or any Azure resource in my subscription. And that's what it tells me here from the output of the uh, command line. It have a role contributor over the subscription. Note here, this will change in a future release and in the future, this will not create the contributor role by default. So keep uh, pay attention to that in, in, in the future. 
But let's now go to use the service principle to configure it in our uh, Terraform template. So here the subscription ID should be this subscription ID right here. And then the client ID that should be the application ID from the service principle and the client secret that should be this value mentioned right here. So I'll copy this and use it right here. And then the same for the tenant ID that should be the value from tenant and your SPN right here. So from here I can go to run my Terraform template but before running Terraform init I just want to go to do az logout to log out from my Azure subscription to make sure that now the authentication used is the one from the service principle instead of my own personal identity. So I run az logout then I'll go to run Terraform init. Once that's done now I'll go to run Terraform plan. Two resources to be created, the resource group and the storage account. And then let's run Terraform apply. And here tells me the resources were created successfully. That's thanks to the authentication using service principle. Now from here, if I switch to my Azure subscription and go to resource group, I should see now a new resource group, SPN Terraform RG, with the storage account inside that resource group. So here we are putting these service principle credentials, including this, the password, which are very sensitive credentials, and we need to protect these credentials. So typically we should not commit these credentials into the source control system, into our Git repository, but instead we can actually inject these values during the CI CD pipeline. So during the CI CD pipeline, you will go to connect to your Azure Key Vault, for example, to retrieve this client secret and then inject it in your Terraform file as a variable. And then you go to deploy your template. And for me here, because I have uh, already ex exposed these variables right here, I go to delete this service principle so that nobody else can go to use it to access my Azure subscription. To do that, I'll use the command ID SP, then delete, and then I can delete the service principle using its ID. So the ID for my service principle is this one here. Of course, this will not run because I'm not connected to my Azure subscription. So let's log in again. Once I'm connected, now I can go to run the command AZ ID SP delete and delete the ID of that service principle. I hope this demo was useful for you. So as usual, you will find the application's source code with the different commands and this GitHub repo. Thank you.